to do things that were actually justified in actually defending people from large nations that had ill intent. So that's good. And then there are people who really weren't able to integrate back into society, who are still good people. But, no but, they're good people. A lot of bad has happened to them and it's hard for them not to react in a certain way when similar things like that are happening. Yeah. I have a story of the guy who used to take care of me was a veteran. I like green. Green is cool. I don't know if everyone can see that they're green, but they were green. <laughs> like a light gray green. And army green is also cool. Not that I'm pro army, because no. I have love for everyone that is in the army. Do I agree with the ideology of such? Not at all. Do I think the American army is a tool for capitalism? Absolutely. Do I think that a lot of the things that the army has done can be justified? No. But everyone in the army is a person, has a family. So they deserve love. I have a lot of friends and family who are veterans who talked about um, a lot who were actually in Vietnam and ran into situations where they had to kill or remove youths from there, from this plane of existence, which is very traumatic when you're in a situation where a person has a bomb strapped to their body do their choice or otherwise a lot of times not it's really hard to figure out what you need to do a lot of times the best scenario is to just put that person out of their misery from a distance which is very sad but yeah that's war sucks Alright, next shoe. Do you ever think about ever think about what life has done to veterans and things of that nature? I know what it's done. I have lots of friends who are veterans who are some are more put together than others, but everyone is different now than they used to be. Yeah. There are people who really accepted that lifestyle and became mercenaries who were able to do things that were actually justified in actually defending people from large nations that had ill intent. So that's good. And then there are people who really weren't able to integrate back into society who are still good people, but, no but, they're good people. A lot of bad has happened to them and it's hard for them not to react in a certain way when similar things like that are happening. Yeah. I have a story of the guy who used to take care of me was a veteran. He was a sniper killer and a paratrooper in the Green Beret. And when I was really, really little, when I was in a baby, I walked into his apartment, well, crawled, because he would always leave his apartment open. And open and lights off at all times, even at night. 
so I walked in there. And of course my mom is flipping like crazy. She doesn't know what's going on. Of course the story was told to me. I was too young to remember. And she hears me laughing. She goes up to the hallway and she hears me laughing. And dude is just hanging out with me in his apartment and we're just like having a blast. And she talks to him. She's cool and calm because she actually works worked with veterans at the time. So she knew who that dude was a veteran and all that. She just never really talked to him. But, you know, starts talking to him. Everything's cool. And me coming into his apartment really made his day. A lot of people really didn't trust him with children because of the military, which is a terrible misconception. Just because someone was in the military and has post-traumatic stress disorder doesn't mean they're going to be bad with children. A lot of times, children, animals, you know, things to take care of really help people. And I helped him in that way, apparently. And for a long time, that was my babysitter. Since, like, I remember he's some of the first memories I have as a person 